Okay, so we're going to be talking about some of the things you're going to be learning here in Publisher, um, and then we'll take care of completing exercise one in this video uh, as well. The main thing with Publisher is it's all about using templates, which you've used templates before, specifically with PowerPoint um, mostly. And I mean, there's a little bit of things you can do with Excel and Word, um, but Publisher is the biggest one of all that you use it for because. Microsoft Office a lot of what it is it's all about saving you time rather than having to start with a blank piece of paper you can start with a piece of paper that's already set up with different things and you just plug in your information and we're gonna be learning a lot um, about this to help make it convenient for you as you're doing the exercises and if you were to be a person uh, who is working for some company that needs to use publisher a lot so um, this is gonna be beneficial to you also of course helpful later on for further study like college things like that so now some of the biggest things here with publisher you can start with a blank template uh, or a blank piece of paper but a lot of what you're going to be using are called quick publications or at least that's what we're going to start with so you can see there's some templates here um, but quick publications to find those you click on built in so you can see we're on featured right now click on built in and I have a lot of different options here so I got advertisements award certificates banners whole different kinds here but the quick publications I'm talking about are this is this category right here and this offers a lot of different um, setups for just the colors and things like that so um, you're gonna be using quick publications a lot something you're gonna be learning a lot as well is using color schemes and font schemes so we saw themes in the different aspects of Microsoft Office the different applications but color scheme is the word here and you're going to be using that a lot setting it up uh, different colors and then of course your font scheme as well so um, we're going to be paying a lot attention to a lot of things like that so those are some of the main things you're going to see you're going to learn a lot as we go through um, with it as well so let's start with exercise one and get going with that so start publisher if necessary and it says start a quick publication using the following directions so I'm going to go back just so you can see how to get to again so I have uh, if I open it up I'm at featured. I'm going to click on built in right there. And then I need to scroll down. You'll notice this list is alphabetized. So quick publications, Q. Scroll down till I get there. Quick publications right here. Click on that. And now there's some specific instructions to it. First off, use the bounce quick presentation design. So you're going to go alphabetical order. Sometimes it's up here in this list, and sometimes it's down here. So you're going to have to look. Um, this one bounces right up here, so I'm going to click on bounce. Then for the color scheme, I need to choose citrus. So I'm going to click over here. Right now I have solstice selected. It's an alphabetized list, so I'm going to go all the way up here to citrus. And then for my font scheme, this is all under step two, by the way. For my font scheme, I'm going to choose basis. So I'm at C, so I need to go up a little bit. Basis, there we go. And then for the layout, no picture. So you can see my options here layout I need to click on it and look for no picture so look through your list there's blank and I need specifically no picture great so you can see it actually changed how it looks there and then I need to create my file alright great pops up and here just save the publication as 01geo.pub so I'm gonna click file save as choose my folder that I like to save them to and then I need to name it with the appropriate name for step number three. So zero geo dot pub. So for publisher and then your initials. And then I'm going to save the file. And that is the end of the first part of the exercise. So let's move on to the second part of our exercise. Now the second part of our exercise, we need to start another blank publisher. Uh, excuse me, we need to start publisher if necessary and then creating start creating a flyer. This is step two. Start creating a flyer to publicize a fundraising fundraiser car wash. So here you can see under two it says rather than using a quick publication, explore the flyer category. There's several there specifically for car washes under classic designs under fundraiser. So let's go instead of using quick publication, it says here explore flyer category. So I'm gonna go through my list here. Flyers. So click right here, and then it says here there's several there specifically for car washes under classic design. So I have here events, 
marketing real estate so I'm gonna go with all event and you don't see anything about car washes here let's scroll down a little bit and if we go to other this is where we see our events so you need to scroll all the way down and then choose one of these I'm gonna go with this one right here you can choose a different one if you want just make sure it's a car oh you know what actually I skipped that uh, let's go with here you make sure it's a car wash one or two choose one that you think will be attractive I'm gonna go with let's do let's see here something that fits so they said something that's would look attractive here I'm gonna go oh, I don't like that I want someone with some blue in it okay waterfall I think that looks good and then you can choose a different font let's choose comic sans make it a little less formal you can choose what you think will look nice for the car wash and then of course make sure you create it so the step four save publication is zero one dot pub underscore and your initials so let's do that right now so file save as and then make sure you choose your folder now I chose it through here last time because it's a familiar spot but if you need to click on browse and go through your folder so if you're saving it to your flash drive find your flash drive under this PC and then save it in the folder you have for your publisher exercises so wherever you need to go for it so I'm gonna go here 01 GEO oh excuse me not GEO uh, wash dot pub underscore and your initials and that is how you complete exercise number one